Um, this evening I wanted to talk about the, the faith, not faith that the world talks about, but the faith of Christ Jesus. The faith is exclusive to the children of God. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Faith has been given to us from God so that we can make it through this world and into eternal life. This is not a mere token. It's not like a medal or something you can just put up on a shelf to display. It has utility, and it, it is essential. It's, it's how we do everything we do in Christ. We walk by faith, stand by faith. We actually live by faith. In our lives here in this present evil world, the only way we, we can live is by faith. And the new man only operates by faith. We are justified by faith, sanctified. Christ dwells in our hearts by faith. We are children of God by faith through Jesus Christ. Our hearts are purified by faith because it comes from Jesus. If faith was as the world says it is, they say that everyone has faith. You just, have to, you just choose to put your faith in Jesus. Then how could this be true? We're, we aren't pure before we come to Christ. We have to be purified by something greater than ourselves. We overcome by faith. 1 John 5, 4, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. The world must be overcome, and faith is what overcomes it. Without faith, is an impo- it is impossible to please God. As believers, isn't it our desire to always be pleasing to God? To always act in a manner that will cause him to say in the end, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. So if we, if we don't have this faith, we could not walk, we could not stand. We would not be children of God, or be pleasing to God, or be sanctified. Christ would not dwell in our hearts. Likewise, to the degree that we do not use the faith we have been given, these things will not happen in us. It is only to the degree that we walk in the faith that we will realize the benefit of it. This faith has been given unto us and is not automa- it's not automatically maintained, but it must be kept. Like Jesus, from whom it comes, it is lively and will not remain stagnant. If it is not used, we will lose it. This is because we have an enemy and we live in a place where we're constantly being assaulted. Paul, when speaking of the armor of God, said, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Faith is how we can face these trials and temptations from the evil one. We have a shield of faith to block and throw down these imaginations that Satan tries to throw at us. So seeing how the faith is so very important and necessary, we desire to hold on to the faith, remain strong in the faith, and be established in the faith, to build each other up in the most holy faith, and to abound in faith. Keeping our faith is is only going to result in good things, being pleasing to our Lord, obtaining the promises that have been promised to us, and being forever with our Lord. So, brethren, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised, that receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, you might be able to say, as Paul said, I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Thank you, brethren. We'll pray now, and then Sister Annie will come up for songs.